Phil, just talk about uh, what a big win that was for you. I mean, you talked earlier this week about how you needed to get off that slide, and this one was just huge. Yeah, man. Glad to walk home tomorrow after 18 months. And, you know, uh, my last uh, win in UFC was 18 months ago with Robbie Lawler, and I'm gonna feel great to walk. Uh, walking home tomorrow and kiss my boys, kiss my wife. Oh, oh, gonna be, gonna be great, man. Can't wait for it. How much pressure did you put on yourself going into this one? Uh, you know, knowing that you had the two losses in a row, but knowing, you know, how big of, of opponents those guys were, and you know, current champion and the, and the former uh, interim champion. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I was trying to not put so much pressure, but it's hard, man. You know, I'm, I'm a com competitive guy, and I wanna. I want to get good results, and I was trying to relax more, but you know, and but you know, I'm glad I got it done. I got the win, and I had I knew he'd come strong on the first two rounds. That that what happened, and I just glad I you know I was able to use my you know my strategy and my experience and get it done. Was the strategy to stretch him out a little bit longer and get into the deeper rounds and? thinking that you would then be able to put him away later? Yeah, yeah, that was, you know, the strategy, you know, keep, even he was putting me against the fence, I was hanging on him, throwing, you know, like, you know, little shots on him, making him work and taking him down as well, not, you know, worry about defend, he's taking down, but attack him. And that was, that was the game plan. And on the fourth round, that was, you know, Jason made a huge, a huge uh, adjustment on my game. Told me to, you know, throw more like uh, stick my jab and use more my jabs and put on my combination better. And I start doing that and open up a lot. Rafael, you've been in the UFC a long time. I believe you were 11 and two when you came in. You're 29 and 11 now. What do you do to stay motivated to be the best and to add more skills into your repertoire? Mm -hmm. Just into it. Yeah, man. Uh, 40, 40 fight tonight. 20. Seven or eight UFC appearance. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just. You know, I got two kids at home. You know, uh, 18, uh, eight months old boy, little baby. That, that's my motivation. Thank you. Uh, that's my, that's my motivation. And uh, I never done anything else in life but training, but fight. And God blessed me with this talent, and He gave me the opportunity to do this in my life. To you know, to, to. To support my family with that, and I'm just grateful for everything he has done for me. And you know that that's my motivation. You know, his plan, his you know his opportunity on my life, and and to to do what I love. That Absolutely. that's that's the most important. How was the crowd tonight? You know, the, the preliminary card was pretty pretty exciting, but I mean that main event, the end of that that fight there was was impressive. What was the crowd like coming out during the fight? Yeah, that was great, man. I was surprised. Uh, I got a lot of uh, heat from the crowd, and I felt the crowd was a bit on my side, and that, that was good. And to put on a you know a good show for them, and be back on the winning path. What did you make of uh, Kevin Lee at 170? I mean, there's been a lot of talk about him <coughs> moving up. You moved up. Do you think he has a future in the division? Yeah, he's tough. I think he can beat a lot of guys in there. Uh, but like I said, uh, it takes a little time until you make those little adjustments. He's a tough guy, man. He's strong. He came strong on the first. Uh, you know, he he got he got a, a, a welterweight strength. You know, I've been there with Robbie Lawler, Usman, Kobe. You know, the best guys in the world, and he 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 he's strong too. You know, but. Uh, I think in a five round fight, I knew they're gonna be, you know, uh, advantage for me. And, you know, I just kept, kept calm and kept, you know, following the strategy and using my experience, how I was able to get it done. You said following the fight, obviously, you feel you can be champion again and you're just kind of waiting for the opportunity. I mean, are you thinking maybe if there's a short notice opening, you could step up or? Yeah, I think, oh, it's a matter of the opportunity. If the opportunity present, I will be ready. And and it, you know I, I I I'm always ready. Like I said, I always keep the water warm. When it's time to boil, it's easy. You know I'm not I ne I never let my body get cold and totally uh, you know on off season. I always doing something. 
you know, running, always doing something. And if the opportunity presents on me, I will, I will, I will take it. As far as opportunities moving forward, is there a time frame that you have in mind, a card or an opponent? Yeah, I see uh, that this Abu Dhabi card, that will be something nice. I fought in Abu Dhabi 2010, I think, or 12. No, I won Hansel Gracie fought uh, Matthew Hughes. And that would that'll be a good card. I would love to fight overseas too. And uh, we'll see, you know, a lot of shows coming up. Uh, but uh, definitely I want to probably fight two one or two more times this year. We had, we had a, a younger fighter in here tonight, Grant Dawson, who actually said you were an inspiration to him coming up. He was thrilled to have met you earlier in the week. He won tonight. What's it like to kind of inspire this younger generation of UFC fighters? Yeah, I met him on the hallway. Man, well, it was good, you know. Uh, it's, 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 it's good for me to see how, you know, I'm inspiring people. And that was good, good for him that he won. And that that's, you know, that's that's very uh, very very nice you know I, I like to hear those stories when you mounted him in the fourth round after you stuffed that takedown and you locked the arm triangle up did you know it was over as soon as you got a clasp? yeah once once i got my head on the ground and i knew i, I drilled those position you know those you know katagatamis on the locking room and my coach philip de la monica always put me to do those drills uh, uh, you know, get half guard and mm -hmm. get to the arm triangle, to the katagatami, and we did right before I go to the match, you know, to the fight, and and I, I was able to get it done. I knew, I knew it was done. Once my head was on the ground, I connect my hands. I knew that was done. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.